Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Turtle Bookworm. Today is my favorite episode. Well, my favorite time of the month to do an episode because it's the uh, uppercase unboxing video. I have no idea what's in here. I refrained from putting myself in a situation where I could potentially find out what was in here. And this is going to be a surprise. It's been a couple weeks, weeks, times, months. It's been a few times in a row where it got spoiled for me and I'm super excited to do this right now because I don't know what it is and part of the fun is the surprise. I just got home from work. I hurried up and set up my equipment to get the video in. I put a note on the door saying, hey husband, filming in progress. If you happen to come home, shh, if he makes a noise, we're going to make him appear on the turtle bookworm. How about that? I'm sure he'll be thrilled. All sweaty and gross and covered in sawdust after work. Woo -woo! Anyways, back to the unboxing. So, we have our safety scissors. I love these things. I don't love them because they're safety scissors. I love them because the handle's green. Green is my favorite color. I'm always so afraid I'm going to cut the actual little tiny canvas bag in here. And one of these times I'm going to. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, so, oh, hear that? Something's in there that jingles. Okay, we're opening the bag. Let's do the little trinkets first. That's the fun stuff. So we have, oh, look at it. They're Alice's Enchantments. Enchantments. Ah, so excited. Love. And, oh, oh, hold on. I got to put this. On. He can tap my spider webs! What? Ah! You're getting me. I'll fix that later. You Good thing they're not real spider webs. We can do the Kung Fu Ninja dance when we get hit by real spider webs. Oh. Oh, it's a little coin purse. We're all mad here. Yeah, we are. Have you met me? <laughs> Crazy Bill. President. This is super cute. I love that. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, I'm pretty sure that this is my my plate. Aaron Mills. I think this is Aaron. Aaron, maybe. I don't recognize that name. That's always exciting. I love reading authors that I have never heard of before. Fierce Reads. Okay, so... Six of Crows is on my to-be-read list. Love Letters to the Dead is on my to-be-read list. And Heart of Betrayal is on my to-be-read list. And the other two I don't know anything about. And I'm working on reading The Lunar Chronicles. I've read the first one. I recently just loaned it out. I haven't read the other ones in the series yet. And don't know why. Because it was really good. I really liked it. Woohoo! That's happy thoughts right there. Okay. Wait, where's my letter? Aha! My letter from Lisa. Hi, Ashley. This story is best described as Pride and Prejudice meets Friday Night Lights. It's one of my favorite contemporaries of the year, and I hope you agree. I don't read a lot of contemporaries, so it's going outside my box, which is a good thing. I'm super excited. Lisa, thank you for sending me a book outside of my comfort zone. The Vengeance Road was a Western. Normally wouldn't have read that book. Loved it, and somebody might be getting it sometime soon for their birthday. Wink, wink. It's tomorrow, so I don't care if she watches this. She probably won't watch it anyway. And if she does, then yeah, she knows what's in her present. Ooh. Sorry. Tattoos from the Lunar Chronicles. It was stuck to the outside of the book. Ooh, that's fun. Hmm. Put those on. Okay, so the book reveal is First and Then by Emma Mills. And down below it says, First and Then is like First Love, Profound and Stirring, Surprising and Funny and Utterly Delightful by T. Michael Martin, Arthur of the End Games. The back reads, Did I still want to be friends? What I really wanted was to kiss Ezra's face off and punch him in the arm, and then kiss his face off some more. That wasn't quite an ideal friendship, was it? No, but it sounds like a marriage. 
I truly marry my best friend and I adore him, but sometimes it's kind of in the right. Devin Tennyson wouldn't change a thing. She's happy, silently crushing on best friend Cass and blissfully ignoring the future after high school. But the universe has other plans. It delivers Devin's cousin Foster an unpre unrepit... Why can't I say that word? Anyways, let's jump to the point here. With wit, heart, and humor to spare, first and then it's a contemporary novel about falling in love with the unexpected boy with a new brother and with yourself. The unexpected boy. Seriously, if me and my husband knew each other in high school, I would not have given him the time of day. He was a quad kid, and I was a band geek. Band geeks and quad kids never talked to each other. My husband was also the jock. He played on the football team. Jocks, quad kid, band geek. They don't go together, but as grown-ups, we totally mesh. We are so different from each other that we make such a good team, and I adore him. I love you, honey. I love you so much. And thank you, Lisa, for sending First and Then by Emma Mills. I'm really, really excited to read this. It'll be on my November reads for next month. I'm still currently working on reading my creepy reads, so if you've been following me, you know I'm looking for more recommendations. I got time. Put them down below. Even if they don't make it in October, I would like to read some more of them because nothing scares me, dang it. I would like to be scared, and nothing book form scares me. Movies, on the other hand, I need my husband to watch them with me because they really make me scared. And then we have to watch princess movies because I mm, can't get the scariness out of my brain. Anyways, this has been my uppercase unboxing. Lisa, thank you again. I'm super excited to read this. And I hope you, everybody else is reading some great books. And we'll see you again in about a month for another unboxing. And I'm sure we'll meet up again this weekend when we do some more review re videos on all the creepy reads that I've been reading this month in October. Until that time comes, keep on reading and cheers! Hmm.